Hi folks, I'm out in the log cabin today. I want to make a start on my powder coating oven and that means stripping this oven down. So let's get started. Right, so if you saw one of my last videos, you'd probably see that I'm getting into the powder coating scene now, and that means either buying a very, very expensive powder coating oven or making my own. Now, look, some people can probably use one of these. It's okay, but you're only really gonna ever get small parts. So as you probably know, I bought a filing cabinet which stands uh, about that high, which is in the back there, and I'm gonna take all the innards out of this, the elements and stuff like that, and the grill trays and all that sort of stuff, the control panel at the top here, transpose that into this cabinet and I've also bought some insulation for the actual filing cabinet as well uh, to make it a bit more uh, resilient not, no, not resilient what's the word to make it a bit more uh, economical to run as well so anyway let's start stripping this down I'll put you on time lapse and I'll see you in a second Right, well, I'm getting there eventually. I've got no diagrams on, I think, you know, you just got to sort of take it apart and hopefully remember where the wires go. I've been marking them as I've been going, but, uh, oh, hello, door's coming forward there. That's it. Whole door comes out as one bit, look. There we go. I'm hoping, I don't know whether I can or not, to utilise some of this glass, maybe, I'm not sure, in the, uh, doors of the filing cabinet but we'll see a little bit later that's that one off this one here should be pretty similar I think it's this screw here that's holding it and I'll pull that top door off there I think oh there we go yep oh there we go yeah well we're getting there now it's actually not too bad literally all I'm doing is taking out all the screws basically so this little control panel here I want to retain as you can see what I've done I've disconnected the elements there and there and the ones in the middle there all the wiring comes down one side and went through this little channel here so rather than me feed it all through I've just cut through there so I can literally lift all the wiring away once I take these lights out these are the um, the internal lights I think I'm not too sure how they come out yet but uh, Shouldn't be a problem. I can I live all the wiring out in one go then, you see? And hopefully, I think these elements come from the inside, but I'm just taking all the screws out at the moment. Right, as I'm going through this, I've got all these little screws here. Look, let me show you. Now, don't forget, this is a domestic appliance. Oh. And all these little tiny screws here, look, these little like self-tapping screws that they put together using sheet metal. If if you keep hold of them, they're handy. Put them in a little jar or something, just keep hold of them. Because sometimes you need a little screw, as we all do now and again, and sometimes we can't find them. And look, hundreds of them. Don't throw them away, keep them in a little jar, and they will come in useful. So I'm gonna put them over there. Now, let's take that good out of there, look. So I'm gonna use these to hang up the powder coating stuff. I might have to um, weld them together like that so I can attach this one to the roof but that's not a problem, I've got the welder as you know. So picking something like this cheaply up from um, eBay or uh, Facebook, sorry I got this one from can uh, really save you lots of money. Now I won't be using this because I've actually bought this uh, I bought some new seal for the, the doors I've got but again that might be handy, I don't know yet, but we'll take it off anyway. As it's all in good condition. 
Uh, I'll, I'll rip that bit, look. <laughs> Take it off, it's just all in good condition as I rip it. Right, okay, so I'm hoping, let's get this screw out. I'm hoping that uh, the inner of this is gonna pull out. Oh, there's the element now, I can see the element on the top there. I don't know how that's held in. There's two more screws up here, look. There we go, just see the clips there, look. That's the wrong way. When I'm upside down, I always get it the wrong way. Or oh, is that the wrong way? Well, anti-clockwise is that way. I'm just it up, innit? I'll tell you what, because I can't actually see that clip there. I'm doing this is because I can't see the clips for one and normally these ones that have had heat around them normally get very brittle. Let me get a smaller screwdriver. Right let's get that little one in there look. I can see it or I can feel it right but I can't see it. What I can feel it's very dry. I can feel the threads. They're only speed clips, but normally, as I say, they're well tight. But I think I've got this one. I don't know whether the, the nut thing is spinning at the back, mind you, but uh, we'll know in a second. There we go. So we don't, we're not going to need that. Uh, right, now that is what holds the element in. And if I've undone them bolts, which I know I have, I was hoping that this should... No, there's two more screws in there. Oh, let's get the longer screw screwdriver on that. Just holding the back plate of the element in. It's like anything, when you've not worked on a certain model of something before, taking things apart, you have to be a bit methodical and use a bit of common sense. But if you're doing these all the time, you know exactly what you're doing. You know exactly where the screws are and you can uh, zip through them. And that's what makes you an expert. But I'm not an expert. I don't want to damage these elements, as you know, because these are the reason we bought the cooker. There we go. Look at that little baby. Wow, there's some heat going to be generated by that thing. Happy days. I think there's another element behind this back plate in here where the fan is. Now, I don't think I'm going to need it because I think the main two elements are going to be the ones that I only need. But I will take this back plate off and just have a look. Right, that's better. I think you can see now. Well, let's just take that off. Yes, look, there is another element around where the fan is. I didn't know that. So it's a three element item. Uh, I don't possibly think I will need this one, but I will take it off anyway. I'm not fitting the fan obviously into the oven because the fan will probably blow the powder off so we don't need that. But that's a dinky little element, look. I can't see the ratings on these, but uh, oh, here we go. 2,500 watts that one. So I can use whatever ones I need to get the effect I need. So that's that. So we want that out, possibly. We want possibly that out. Uh, we're gonna need the little stat thermostat in there, I think. That's it hanging up here, look. Through there. And that's got to be poked up through the hole and then taken out. I need that light cap off of there because I need to pull the uh, control. I want to retain the lights if I can to put them in the cupboard. So all well and good. So I'm just going to pull these little bits out now and I'll see you in a minute. Right, got that control panel off. Now this doesn't come off as a separate box, this control panel. So I'm going to have to get the... Uh, the grinding disc out and grind along here so that I can actually retain this panel. I've got it held on still by two screws so that'd be alright. So I'm just going to grind this off now. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, okay, so, hopefully, when I unscrew these two screws, I should be able to lift everything off. Right, okay. Push that to the back, does this come off now? There we go. There, that's it, look. So there's a the whole control panel there and the wiring. I've just got to feed it through the back. I've got this little electrical circuit board there to undo and then poke the lights out and then that'll be it. So I'm just gonna do that and I'll see you in a second. Right, okay. I've unbolted this panel as well because it's got that little control circuit board on it. And I may just lay this on top of the new thing. So hopefully everything I need should come away now. Here we go, look at that, perfect. Let's put that over there. And this lot, I don't need the fan. Uh, is it worth taking that off for something else? I don't know. No, I'm not bothered. Not interested. Right, so this lot now is now redundant. Now, I could save this metal. I may cut it into sheets. I don't know yet because this thin metal is always handy to uh, keep hold of. But uh, anyway, so let's get this out of the way now. Put this outside and uh, we'll pull the cupboard forward and see what we've got left. Right, well, that's taller than I thought. <laughs> Let's open it up. We don't need that um, tray in there. Oh, it's noisy, isn't it? Don't need that. So that's the inside. Don't need them supports there. As I say, it's all just basically slotted together. Um, I've bought some sheet steel, one mil sheet steel, or 20 gauge rather, and I'm gonna put a back on it, sides, and possibly a roof lining as well. In fact, I may be able to utilize that for the roof lining, might not. If I turn it upside down, put that in there, a lovely roof lining insulate in between it and that'll give me some nice support then to put me racking at the top so I can hang stuff up happy days I'm happy with that now first thing is is to get this off of the table now because <laughs> I can fix this roof support and put the insulation in get that all put in before I do the sides happy days right well I think I'll leave this video here at the moment as you can see I've got plenty to do and uh, I think the next video will show us building this and putting it all together. You've seen the strip down now. And uh, hopefully you'll be along for that ride. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you've never watched our videos before. And have a look at our backlist. If you've just joined the channel, have a look at our backlist. We've got car videos, motorcycle videos. We've got lawnmower repair videos. We've got personal vlogs. Loads of stuff out there. It's a variety channel. I do loads of stuff anyway. This is just what I do in my day-to-day -day life. Anyway. Thanks very much. I hope you're going to enjoy this powder coating setup. I'm looking forward to doing this, to be honest with you. Never done it before. Uh, the chap's coming down tomorrow from the uh, powder coating company to show me how to use the gun. Unfortunately, I won't have this set up, but at least you can show me how to use it. And uh, as soon as I know, you'll know as well. Thanks very much. See you in the next video. And until then, bye for now.